Hello, this is Sara Gonzalez with Ensembles of the Past. And I am Mindy Grace from Girl of a Different Era. And today we would like to share with you how God allowed our past to cross, how he answered my prayers. And by doing so, called me from New York to Missouri. She reached out and I got this email in my inbox and her initial email read, do you do internships? Probably one of those, you know, dead blogs where people <laughs> post and post and then they just stop posting because life gets crazy. I've come across way too many of them. So I'm like, you know, it's, since she posted this like last year, it's probably I'm not going to hear back from her. But it'll just be another dead end. And it's really interesting because that blog post that you read was my Refocusing of Mexico blog post that I posted in June um, of 2019. So it had been a full year, almost a full year and a half when Mindy reached out to me and that was my latest blog post. <clears throat> I am the world's slowest blogger. Um, but I do hope to improve, we'll see. And I. It's just interesting because when I wrote that blog post, um, I really felt impressed that I needed to write it. And in that blog post, I went through um, all the things that I had been dealing with for the past six months. My my sister who had been working for me quit suddenly, um, and I was dealing with trying to figure out why. And um, I don't like being that vulnerable and don't like being that open to random people that might just come across and read my blog post. But something felt, something impressed me, um, and I know it was God, impressed me to just pour out my heart in a, you know, in a professional way, but do it so that people would know where I was coming from um, and what I was dealing with and it was very uncomfortable for me, but it was something that I felt like I needed to do. Um, and I prayed through every single thing that I wrote in it, including mentioning that I wanted interns and apprentices um, who really wanted to learn the trade. And so um, just a little backstory too, I ended up, <laughs> um, after writing that blog post in 2019, I ended up getting a a potential apprentice and she worked with, with me for three months and I thought for sure this was gonna happen you know God was moving and he was going to make it happen and after working with me for three months she decided that she wanted to go to college instead and I was I was severely disappointed I was um, borderline devastated and just because I, I wanted so much um, to have that working relationship with an apprentice and I thought that was God's answer you know to, to my prayers and so it, it was hard um, and then fast forward 2020 I had another intern that worked with me for another three months and it was lovely and I enjoy working with young girls it's one of my passions um, but I, it was just it continued to be a waiting game and then when Mindy reached out to me in October of 2020 I thought in my mind I imagine this older woman, like middle-aged, reaching out because she's bored and she thought, oh, sewing sounds fun. And so, because there was no information in the, in the email about who this person was, and I get these messages all the time asking for sewing classes and internships. And um, so in my mind, I had imagined this middle-aged woman that was <laughs> bored and needed something to do. And so she thought, oh, I should learn to sew, you know, kind of thing. And um, yeah. anyway, crazy thing is, that's not actually what happened. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I was not a middle-aged woman who was bored. No, <laughs> I was actually um, just started getting into sewing that year. Like I sewed with my grandmother, you know, like most granddaughters do. But then I... Through some inspiring YouTubers, I was like, oh, historical sewing, that's so cool! Because I, <laughs> I love those old movies, you know? And I love those costumes, and that's totally me. So I had gone into that and failed a bazillion times, and then, um, yeah, I was just being um, educated at home. 
I've self-taught myself so many things, maybe only so-so, but the thought of being taught by someone, because sewing just gets really tricky, especially historical stuff, was just like a dream come true. I'm like, oh my goodness, if someone can teach me this, I won't have to be Googling everything. <laughs> Which Google has its, you know, pluses too, but there is something about hands-on instruction. Yeah. The crazy thing, I, I replied to Mindy's message finally three days later because it was a busy weekend for me and I was still in recoup mode. Um, and actually, another crazy thing is the week that Mindy messaged me for the very first time was probably one of the hardest weeks of my entire life. Um, because I, I was just feeling so burnt out and so overworked and um, after sewing for eight weeks solid on many wedding garments and I I didn't I was I was needing a miracle more than um, more than I could I can describe and I didn't think too much about Mindy's message except um, at my fellowship the next day after she after she messaged me. I did mention it just briefly. Oh yeah, somebody messaged me on my, you know, <laughs> on my website yesterday. I haven't replied, but she wants to know if I do internships. Yeah, you know, that'll be that'll be cool if it comes of it. But oh, no. and then I just didn't think too much about it until I messaged you back and you replied within a few hours. <laughs> I was so excited because like I said, I wasn't really expecting it after a weekend. I, sometimes I just automatically think people should reply to emails even over the weekend. <laughs> so yeah, I was, I was pretty hyped. So crazy thing, she just, this was, I, I learned a little fragment um, about her each email and we had an email a day going for several days, if, if not two emails a day going yes. for several days. And I was just amazed at how excited she was and, and ecstatic that she was about costuming and historical sewing and learning from me. And I learned in her second email that she was from New York, which another was another reason why I thought, well, I doubt this is going to work out just because I don't know if she actually knows that I live in Missouri. And um, I also don't know, you know, if she has the funds to move or any of that. And um, yeah, so crazy thing. She continued to message me and um, she gave me a link to her blog, which... Then I looked up, of course, because I like to do research on people as soon as I know I might potentially be meeting them um, and or possibly spending an enormous amount of time with them. <laughs> and so I looked up her blog post. I just kept thinking, just by the pictures that you had posted, she had lots of lovely 1940s inspired pictures. And the first thought I had was, she really pulls off the 1940s look really well. <laughs> Love it! Oh yeah! And the second thought was, I really feel like she and I are gonna get along really, really well. <laughs> I just felt this kindred spirit with you, even though we hadn't met in person. And it was almost like I already knew you in a lot of ways. So it was it was incredibly fun. But at the same time, I was like waiting because I didn't know if anything would actually work out. Yeah, so what did that look like on your end, emailing me for a week or so? I was ecstatic. I was like bouncing off the walls. I don't <laughs> normally bounce off the walls. Are you kidding? No. <laughs> I know. Well, at that time, I whatever. She's blossomed up. <laughs> I've gotten more excitable since I've moved to Missouri. Try to explain that. I don't know. Um, but no, I was so excited because like I said, the thought of learning from someone and she was super friendly and uh, it just, I was just like beside myself but I was also terrified about like what would my parents say like if they're like Mindy that's not a good idea you know I wasn't gonna I'm not the type of person that's gonna like go do it anyways especially since it's like that far away from home yeah. so I remember I told my mom and she's like well that's cool and you know that's that's interesting but my dad was on a hiking trip with my youngest brother and um he wasn't gonna be back for a few days. So I was like emailing Sada and been like, well, I'm still gonna ask for that. <laughs> you know, each email, because I'm like, not positive. Um, but he ended up coming home and I was like, I need to tell him, but I don't want him to say no, because I'm so excited. <laughs> and he actually loved the idea because him and my mom are both adventurers. Like they, I was, 
yeah, I remember going outside to do my chores and I was just looking up all around our beautiful farm going, this is so exciting. What if this happened? Oh my goodness. <laughs> it was, yeah, it, it really felt like it was a dream, but so far away still. We're like, well, you should go meet her. You know, like definitely. If, if so, she's not like this creepy scam. And I think I even yeah, said, you, I said before we go any further, I just wanted to face to face. Um, before we progressed because there's nothing like thinking you get along together with somebody and then not meeting a person and then it being super awkward or just your personalities don't mesh or you know something like that yeah and so I, I think I suggested that, that we do that in my mind I was thinking oh you know like three or four months down the road you know may maybe they'll want to do a zoom you know call and maybe a couple phone calls and then you know, maybe schedule a trip to meet me. Well, little did I know, literally less than a week after I replied to Mindy's initial email, she emailed and was like, oh, my mom and I were looking at her schedule and we were wondering if next weekend would work out <laughs> to come down to visit and meet you. And I thought, next week? Yeah. Wow, she's serious. Like, this crazy girl is actually serious. <laughs> this crazy girl's more than crazy. Uh, yeah, because that was like, my dad's like, why don't you go meet her? And like, you know, like, this is a free time and because my mom has a tight schedule sometimes. And if we hadn't gone there, we would have had to wait months. And I was already getting so excited. And I have the issue where if I get really excited about something and get let down, it, like, <laughs> takes me down, like, valleys. We all do, yeah. Um, so I was like, you know what, she's probably going to say no, because this is like, hey, can we be there in a few days? It literally was in a few days. <laughs> and I I just looked at my schedule and I thought, look, I just got done with these crazy deadlines. I got done with these weddings. I am in the normal routine. My, my schedule's still busy, but I don't see why I can't fit in, you know, a, a couple hours here and to see if they're willing to drive the, the distance. But yeah, I said yes, and this is my schedule, and I laid out the schedule, and you told me what would work with you, mm -hmm. and we planned it from there. She came down on Friday afternoon. Yeah, that first meeting, it was lovely. The only expectation I had for that was just to meet Mindy, get to know her and her mother just a little bit, kind of feel out their personalities. I didn't want to rush into, look, this is what an apprenticeship would, um, would start as, mm -hmm. um, or anything, and... I, I think it, I just was so pleased with how well it went. Um, this young girl at the age of 17 was here in this very room and um, I could tell how excited she was. She was so excited about sewing and she brought her sewing projects in this <laughs> wonderful suitcase and she opened it up <laughs> and she was very ashamed of her first project but she showed it to me anyway and she told me, um, you know, all, all the details that, that she put into it and how excited. Mm -hmm. And I was impressed that she tried making a stay with hand sewn eyelets and boning. So she had already done quite a bit of sewing um, by herself. And I was impressed with her enthusiasm and drive with that. So, and I saw, I saw potential. I really did. I saw potential. <laughs> That's so much fun. Yeah, I remember coming and, you know, we'd just driven 16 and a half hours and, we were kind of tired and I was like kind of nervous. Yeah, I walk into this room <laughs> and it was so much fun. I just fell in love with the dress. As you can see, that beautiful yep. 18th century <laughs> dress was sitting in the corner. There was a settee and the chair. And, oh my goodness. I was like, oh, this is magical. It's literally what I was feeling. <laughs> and makes me so happy. <laughs> she served us tea and that just... You know, I could say that sealed the deal. <laughs> I'm glad you're still here. I mean, the thing with me is I only get really excited and talkative occasionally, at least before I moved here. Now I'm more talkative and crazy. <laughs> but I was just like, you know, I was just so many questions. She was very excited. She was just, um, without jumping up and down, she was, I could tell in her voice, it was fluctuating tone quite a lot. And um, I think the only red flag that I saw that day was she was excitedly loud. And um, which I, I also sensed that it was because she was excited. She was excited but 
I wasn't quite sure if that was going to be constant or not, or how well we would work together if that was the case. <laughs> and <laughs> anyway, but I, I took it. I took it as it came, and I looked at her sewing projects, and we talked just about sewing in general. And the crazy thing about that day is just so many crazy, amazing, wonderful, just things in common we found out about each other. I think more than anything is it was just confirmation for me that yes god this this was a god thing and god is doing something here and um he he wanted both of us to to proceed and so after that you came to my fellowship the next day earlier that week before mindy came down i was talking to a friend on the phone and i told her that i was going to be meeting with a potential apprentice and she was driving all the way from new york and I just was excited because I was thinking about all the last year and a half it held and going through different interns and apprentices and trying to find one that I really wanted to work with and that really honestly had the heart to learn and it was excited to learn. And I was telling my good friend about Mindy and I was just saying how amazed I was. And then my friend just randomly said out of the blue, you know, if God can bring the animals to the ark, then he can bring the right people to you. And I just thought, wow, that's amazing. Because the tour portion that weekend was Noah and the ark. It was, it was right. like, it was total confirmation. Wow. That was exactly what God was doing, and it made it it made me cry. It, it still makes me emotional thinking about it. But it was, um, you know, just another one of those God God things. Next day, she came back. We spent five hours talking. I was think it? I think it was five hours. We talked for five hours that afternoon. Wow! And we talked. I don't know what you remember about it, but we talked about the apprenticeship and what I would expect from you. And if you wanted to proceed, this is what it would look like. And we got more into the nitty gritty of, of the business mm -hmm. part of it then, because I really felt a green light at that point. And I think she did too. <laughs> I was so excited. <laughs> I was just I like, we, we both were excited. I think I was trying to be professional and, you know, and I was just keep it bubbly. Keep it professional because there was still a small chance that you may not want to move all the way down here yeah. or something. But in fact, before you came for the meeting, you had emailed me and said, I'm thinking about moving down there late spring to, to late summer. And I thought, this girl hasn't even met me and she's thinking about moving halfway across the country and she's not even 18 yet. <laughs> Let's see why my parents were concerned. <laughs> and that was another confirmation that, wow, God is doing something if her parents are okay with us. They said my parents are they're pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, they are. And I, it was exciting for me because I never really saw my like I always wanted to do something like after high school. I'd been praying super hard, you know. Pretty much, I remember like when I was fourteen. You know, what am I going to do when I graduate? Lord, please direct me because I needed that. I needed. I felt like I needed to know um, what I was supposed to do. And so just this thought of how exciting it would be, you know, what an adventurous thing to do and just how, how much fun that would be it was just, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's crazy how sometimes you can dream things and you see it far off in the future as a potential and then all of a sudden it happens and it's just mind blowing how God works that way mm -hmm. sometimes. I told her before you move here, there's only one more thing that I want us to do, and that's just so that we both have total peace about um, our decision. And that is, I want us to work together for a full week, um, a, a hard, you know, 40 hour week before we decide that this is what we want to do for the next three years. Um, we ended up meeting again in January, mm -hmm. and yeah, she showed up Monday. That was the first time I had seen her since October. And it went incredibly well. I was not expecting it to go that well. It was it was lovely working with you that week. I felt like um, it zoomed by. It really did. And she did tone down the excitement. I mean, she was still excited. Yeah. <laughs> but she wasn't loud excited like she gets sometimes. Yeah, I, I think at that point it was a little more sure. So I was a little more like, 
excited, but it was like realistic excited. It Instead was of like, exactly. this is a dream yes. excited. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like that was the difference. Yeah, it was realistic ex excitement, which honestly was really good for me to see because I wanted her to be realistic about this. I didn't want her to think, oh, it's just going to be a fairyland. We're going to make beautiful dresses and we're going to dream all day, which, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of that. Mm -hmm. But it's also a lot of hard work and your back ends up aching at the end of the day a lot of times mm -hmm. and, you know, long hours and there's, there's a lot of that too. <laughs> Last day was hard because it was I, sad. it was sad because we enjoyed working with each mm -hmm. other so much. Yeah. And I felt like, you know, like she was already a really good friend. You know, when you meet the, that occasional person that's similar enough to mm -hmm. you that, yeah. So I really felt like totally comfortable around her, which sometimes takes me a long time with people. I'm like, a little edgy, but I was like totally at ease, you know. Was... Which is wonderful because that's, you know, that's what I wanted. I, I was absolutely amazed at the end of that trial week. Um, so then Mindy came down in July and we started her apprenticeship the first week. Being together for the last few months has been quite wonderful. Again, mm -hmm. just like the trial week, it has gone better than I could have, could have imagined. Um, and I'm very, very grateful for how well we do work together and how well we are comfortable around each other. Um, so. Yeah, it's it's been great. It's been crazy, crazy adventure. Totally different being all grown up and on my own. But I just feel like I've learned so much as far as sewing goes, and I've so, I'm so much more confident with my sewing now. Like you know, I went home from my brother's wedding and they put me to work altering bridesmaids' dresses, and I was just so much more confident. Like, I, I love it out here in the wild west. I love to convince my friends, because I know it's not the wild west. I know that now. Maybe I thought it was, but I know it's not. But I love to joke about it to my friends. And I've also seen my whole business um, blossom and improve and also increase so and grow. And I think that that has a lot to do with um, the fact that Mindy and I start our Monday morning off with some prayer time. Mm -hmm. Each week we wrap it up by having the end of the week meeting and we talk about what we accomplished and anything that we might could possibly improve, things we thought went well, things we thought mm -hmm. didn't necessarily go well um, and it, that, that's our you know debrief chatting time. She's been working on a lot of basics but Which is... I definitely see vast improvement over three months ago and definitely over a year ago when you came and showed me your first project. <laughs> so that's exciting. It does my teacher heart good. Because I learn something at work and, or I'm learning something and then I go home and I can kind of put it to use with what I'm yes. doing. I'm glad I'm here. You know, there's this times when things are difficult, but I overall I know I'm supposed to be here which is the most important thing. So. And I, I think, once again, just going back to everything that God did a year ago, um, you know, allowing us perfectly timed emails and um, excited 17-year-old girls, <laughs> or a girl, and a um, just in the place I was at with my business at the time and our personal life and just needing, needing that confirmation that God really was working the scenes um, even even when we can't see it you know I think that's um, something that this past year has taught me more than anything else is that even when you can't see it God is working um, in answering your prayers and then when he does answer them when he does reveal that he's been working on it it's just mind-blowing um, just to just to see and grasp his goodness and his love and the things that he just throws into play and amazes you with. That's, that's the way it feels like from my end. Yeah, and I feel like, you know, another thing I've learned is, you know, you're, if you're praying for something and, you know, the Lord, yes, he, he's, he might be doing something, but it's gonna be not tomorrow. You know, I've been praying about my future for years. And so, I mean, yeah, the Lord is totally working behind the scenes. Absolutely. And be encouraged. Be encouraged, friends. So if you're praying for something or if you just feel like you're in a slump, don't give up. He's or if something. you've been waiting for something for years. I yes. mean, it doesn't matter what it is. But he's got it. He's got it under control. He's got something great. He does. And a great yes. plan.
And those who wait on the Lord will renew their strength. Amen. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us until the end. We hope that you've been encouraged and have enjoyed learning about both of us and how God has brought us together. And once again, this has been Ensembles of the Past. And Girl of a Different Era. Thanks so, so much for watching. Please leave us a comment because we love to answer questions and hear from our friends. Give it a like, share it, and please subscribe because we have exciting things headed your way. Very soon. Bye! Bye. <laughs> sure, that could be in the blippers too. We get And something about Mindy is she loves all animals, basically. Yeah. And even dead ones. Magically, you, you appeared. <laughs> Ellie, if, if so, she's not like this creepy scam. And I think I even suggested that too. Just lots of orders. <laughs> mm, that's a good question. There's been a lot of good ones. She, she is from New York. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> My teeth are hurting. Oh, okay. <laughs> My mouth is hurting. It's dropping so much. Do I put more clove on it? Um, okay, besides this. What else could be, could be done? Like, cowboys and, and like, cool western towns. And <laughs> Let's do that over again. <laughs> Okay. <laughs>